Alright, hey guys, we're going to be taking on the Storm King in this video, so um, you're going to start from the old hero's arch stone, and I go, uh, went ahead and skipped to the part where I summon Kuro here, and I'm just waiting for his phantom to summon. Um, I talked to him a little bit before we started about what kind of boss this one was, and he showed me a picture of a Pokemon. <laughs> uh, so um, I wasn't sure what to think of it at first, but he explained later on that it would be basically a giant, a giant floating storm beast, um, kind of like a manta ray, and it would do certain kinds of moves, and we'd have to take shelter in a building, and so forth. So what you're going to see here in the cutscene is the boss, um, the storm king coming down, and you're going to get a nice look at his back where his little storm beast lackeys are, and there's going to be a few of them, and he does. Um, a couple of attacks. They're nothing too extravagant. Unlike other bosses, he's very slow and he doesn't really change his pattern very much. He's pretty predictable. He'll just fly around, as you see in the cutscene, for the majority of his lifespan until you take him down and then he'll die and that'll be it. So um, the little storm beast guys here, you can take them out here. Unfortunately, you can't really hit him normally. What you're gonna have to do is go get a sword first and then take some cover until you get a good clear shot at him and then you're going to land a couple of blows, he'll move on, and then he'll come back, and you'll repeat the process until he dies. So this is where we're going to get the sword right now. Um, it's somewhat of a long run. I didn't take the time to go get any items because we wanted to get the sword as soon as possible, and I didn't want to risk being hit and having to waste healing items and so forth. So we're just going straight for the sword, which is the Storm Ruler, I believe, and it's altogether a fairly useless sword from what I understand. You actually can see Kuro here using it, and I'm getting mine here um, right behind where he is, that little glowing yellow ball there, that's the Storm Ruler item. And you're going to have to equip it, but this is not a good place, so I do that a bit later. Um, but this sword, I guess, is only useful particularly for this boss, for the Storm King boss fight, and that's really all you're going to use it for. So while it may seem impressive here, I would not suggest using it anywhere else, really, because there are better weapons that are stronger and sturdier. Um, I was told that it would break easily, and just a lot of cons to it, so uh, this sword is specifically just made for the Storm King, but here you can see we're behind the building, behind the wall, and because there are two of us, um, we have to work together a bit well in order to move back and forth to where we need to go, but uh, I went ahead and equipped the Storm Ruler, and how it works is you need to be close enough for it to actually have effect on the Storm King, and then you'll be able to do some damage to him. Unfortunately, you cannot do damage to him through walls such as this, and this is kind of a bad space to be attacking. At first, I didn't know what I was doing, so I take a few shots here in the beginning of uh, using the sword here that really missed and didn't do very well. But um, this little area right here uh, is pretty safe, so this is a good hiding spot, but if you want to do some damage to the Storm King, you're going to go outside of the walls, as I found out later, or he needs to be directly above you if you're going to attack from inside this little square. So that just took me a little bit to learn here. So after a couple of minutes here, I'll finally figure that out. Um, one thing to point out are his attacks. He will uh, shoot down some projectiles, as most storm beasts have done before. He is significantly larger than other storm beasts in the family type, um, so he's uh, he's hard to miss. Some of the storm beasts have given me the slip before because they'll fly by and I won't see them. He's very hard to miss. You'll see him right here, and uh, he does projectile damage. And another thing that he does here, as you'll see in just a second, is he spits out some pink stuff. Let's just call it stuff. And that will do a little bit of damage. You can block most of it with your shield, if you have one. So I would suggest having your shield up anytime you are not attacking, unless you need to recharge your stamina very quickly. Um, right now, this would have been a good opportunity for me to go outside to the left past the walls and actually attack from underneath him, but I didn't know that at that time, so that was my mistake. And so the boss fight in this video is a little longer than it should have been, but um, one of the easier and uh, quicker boss fights, I think, than some of the other ones. But uh, Kuro helped me out quite a lot. He showed me what I was supposed to do, so thank you again to Kuro. Um, you're going to see us do some damage to him, and you're going to actually see the Storm Ruler Sword take some 
uh, effect on the boss here. But uh, other than that, there really isn't a whole lot to explain here. Um, we finally get to hit him, and as I said before, he'll just fly on, and then that's kind of going to be it. Once he gets out of range, there's not much you can do except wait until he comes back. Um, for Kuru and I here, uh, we didn't really take a whole lot of damage, but I would say to be careful in case you don't have a lot of health still, um, that you go ahead and bring several healing items with you, just in case, to keep your health up, because that always is important during a boss fight, although this one is easier because most of his attacks are very difficult to not dodge. But we're finally um, taking down some of the last of his health here, and I think we'll finish him off actually right in the square where I said was a bad place to hit him, but we managed to get a couple of good shots when the last of his HP was there. So, um, looking at it here, there is one other thing that I want to say. The little ridge where I was having some trouble getting over to get back into the little hiding spot we had against the wall. The reason why that was so hard for me to get over is because I had my shield up. So if you have any trouble for that when you are doing this level, uh, just a heads up, that's all it is. If you take on your shield, you should be able to walk over just fine. But anyways, here we are, and I'm actually going to get the last hit on it, which was kind of fun for me. And after that, the demon was destroyed. So um, after this, I give Kuro his score, and then I'm going to go pick up an item, and I will pick up the boss soul from the Archstone, and I'll show you where that is. And then... Uh, I went back to the Nexus, and it was actually kind of cool. Um, I thought that something had happened, and I was prepared for an enemy or something. When I got back to the Nexus, uh, there was some organ music, and the background music had changed. And I guess that was just because we had finally beaten this boss. This is the third um, slash three boss that we had finished beating, so that's all it was. But picked up a healing item there, and then I'm running over to the Archstone, and here I'm going to get the boss soul items, which are going to be the Storm Demon souls, and then there is another item there that you can get. And then after that, I can return to the Nexus, and that's pretty much it. So thank you guys for watching. Please like or subscribe us, and check out our Tumblr, which is linked in the description below, and we will see you Saturday with our classic capture.